Welcome back to Cablevision's Hudson News Edition. I'm Sherry Carabin. Hoboken's Quality of Life Coalition is kicking off a year-long environmental awareness campaign. It began yesterday with a series called Wake Up to Green, which features free meetings with environmental experts on a variety of topics. Coalition coordinator Helen Minogue joins me now to talk more about it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Tell me a little bit about the campaign and what it's designed to do. Well, we're calling our campaign It's Easy to be Green because we want people to understand that there can be an individual uh, commitment to trying to alleviate the global warming that's going on. And we can do that out of our own homes, in our own homes, the way we live. That's part of our program that we're, we're putting together right now. We're going to have not only these talks, which we're calling Wake Up to Green series, we're going to have about six of them totally during the year, but we're also starting on a monthly basis to send out what we're calling green tips. Every month we're going to be putting on our website, and people should check our website for this every month, about three or four tips on what to do. The first month we put out there was to stop using incandescent light bulbs. Everybody knows about this now. You do the little swirly lights with the, that are the fluorescent lights. And this can, in fact, save you $84 in cost, actually in electricity over the life of that bulb. So you're not only saving the environment and stopping the toxicities going up into the atmosphere, but you're also saving money for yourself. So we're going to do these types of tips every single month. And people should go to our website, which is qlchoboken.org and they will have all this information there. They'll also have information about when our next series of talks are going to occur. One, of course, is tomorrow evening. Um, What's that about? All right, tomorrow evening we're going to be talking about green buildings. How do buildings actually become green? Now, this can be for new buildings as well as for retrofitted buildings. And we have a representative from the U.S. Green Buildings Council coming. He uh, will be telling us about what they call the LEED buildings, the L-E-E-D buildings. And these are ones that are accredited as being actually green. They are made with green materials. Those are those materials that do not worsen the global warming situation. And also that save water with you know, different types of shower heads and low flush toilets, that sort of thing. So he's going to be talking about all of that tomorrow evening at uh, Our Lady of Grace School on Willow Avenue at Fifth Street and starting at 7.30. So we're going to be, um, we hope that everybody's going to come for this because it's really an important thing to understand how a building gets green. There's something that you want people to do on Sunday as well. Yes, oh, absolutely. Sunday, we would like them to come to the Arts and Music Festival in Hoboken. It's going to be on from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. And together with the city of Hoboken, we have put together one block that is going to be all green exhibitors. It's on Newark Street between Washington and Hudson Street. So we look forward to seeing people there. Well, thank you very much for joining me here today to talk right. about this. All right. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Again, the series will continue tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. at Our Lady of Grace School Hall on the corner of Willow and Fifth Streets. The topic will be how buildings become green. The event is free and open to the public. And don't go away because we'll be right back.